Right now at 10, tragedy at Bel Air High School. Unfortunately, today a student was shot here on the campus of Bel Air High School. That student has since died. The accused shooter now under arrest. Parents frustrated over a lack of information from HISD. We need to know that our children are going to come to school and be safe. At breaking tonight at 10 o'clock just minutes ago, we learned two people are now under arrest after that Bel Air High School student was shot and killed in the school's courtyard this afternoon. We have live team coverage for you tonight. We begin with Channel 2 anchor Jacob Rascone. He is live outside the Bel Air Police Department with the newest information. Jacob? Yeah, Dominica Bill, tonight we've learned that the student who is suspected of opening fire is, in fact, a student. And a second person connected to this case was also arrested with him nearly four hours after that shooting. Bel Air police say a student opened fire on a classmate in the outdoor courtyard on campus at 4 p.m., just as class let out for the day. Minutes later, paramedics rushed the victim out the front door of Bel Air High School on a gurney and performed CPR. But the student would not survive. The parents burying their child. And at the end of the day, that's not supposed to happen. We're not supposed to bury our kids. We're not supposed to do that. And all I can think about is that mom. That's all I can think about. Bobby says her son, a junior, was friends with both the victim and the gunman. What do you mean your friend just got shot? And he said, a friend of mine just shot my friend. And I was like, wait. Where and he told me it was ROTC. The boy that um that was shot, he was a platoon commander. I think that's I'm saying it right. He's worked very hard to be where he's at, and the other boys worked hard too. So I I don't understand. Bel Air and HISD and West University officers, SWAT team and K9 units searched the school and nearly four hours after the shooting. It happened so fast. Um, it's like. Um, Two trucks pulled up and then unmarked cars. A tip led police to the fugitive and a second person connected to the case in an alley behind this corner store a mile from the school. They jumped out screaming, you know, get down, get down. We will have additional security on this campus and additional counselors for staff and students uh, as we move forward and reopen the campus. And after initially saying that Bel Air High School would be open tomorrow, the superintendent now says the school will be closed tomorrow. Live at Bel Air Police Department, I'm Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jacob. Our live team continues now with Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil. She's joining us live outside Bel Air High School, speaking to parents frustrated and concerned about the lack of information that was coming from HISD leaders tonight. Sophia? Bill, until HISD reversed that decision, parents were upset that initially their kids were going to have to go to school tomorrow. But again, that has been reversed. Classes are canceled. But still, parents are very frustrated with how this has been handled so far. I have two children that come to the school. I need to know that they're going to be safe tomorrow. Jonasu Wagstaff was not happy with the lack of information HISD initially gave parents and upset they did not take questions during a news conference. We were just really disappointed in, in that whole exchange. So Jonasu decided to ask school administrators herself. What steps are the schools going to take to protect the safety of our children here? And recorded it on Facebook Live. Mr. McDonough, you're the principal here. What are you going to do? but still didn't get any answers. We need principals. We need, you know, the superintendent to tell us what they're going to do to ensure that our children can come to school and be safe. Hours later, the school did send out an email and a robocall. We will have additional security on campus at Bel Air High School. The moms and dads are still feeling uneasy. Parents say this is not the first time they've heard about guns on campus. Last September, the principal told parents in a letter that drugs and a handgun had been found in the school. Days before that, a student received a threat through airdrop from someone stating that there was going to be a shooting. Fast forward months later, and now this, a student shot and killed while at school. To be honest, I, I, I feel a lot of things. I feel shock. I feel anger. Um, I feel such sadness for you know, this, this boy's mother. And that's how many people are feeling around here. I spoke with several parents who said that their kids are actually elsewhere because they just couldn't bear being in the neighborhood around the school because of what happened today. Reporting live outside Bel Air High School, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia. We'll bring you any new developments on the Bel Air school shooting during this newscast as it comes in.